remove the bottom rack for easy access. Usually these will just roll out on most all dishwashers. This one has a removable filter. A lot of times these will just turn to the left and lift up. This one has probably never been cleaned in the three years of this dishwasher's life. Many dishwashers will have a screen. This one just pulls out. I've got an old toothbrush. Since there is a lot of mold and mildew on this, I will be using a bleach Clorox cleaner. Sprayer on this is broke, but... I've got some distilled white vinegar, 4% acidity. I'm gonna use, I'm gonna fill this cup up. With the toothbrush, I'm just gonna aim and scrub anywhere where there's grime. Make sure to get the seals. Lots of bacteria builds up on these seals. Maybe a little around the soap dispenser. And the hidden one, you won't, not many people know about. This is your vent. This should just pop out. Oh, look at that. Definitely want to hit this area up. I'm actually going to take this vent and clean it off in the sink. This part I am going to wipe clean again. I know it still looks gunky, but we're going to slide our screen back in. I'm going to drop our filter in. We're going to twist to the right once we feel it fall to lock it. Then it should not be able to lift up. Take that cup of white vinegar, pull out your top rack, and set it in the top rack. Just like that. And then close your top rack. Run your kitchen water until it's as hot as it will go. Reinsert the bottom dishwasher rack. I'm going to select a normal cycle. I'm not going to bother with the heat dry on the first round through. I am going to do high temp and then hit start. The reason we put the distilled white vinegar in a cup on the top rack is a lot of modern dishwashers, the drain pump immediately kicks on when you hit that start button. This way we're not wasting the white vinegar and it's going to slowly get distributed throughout the cycles. The dishwasher now should be significantly more clean, but we still have another step to do. I'm going to remove this rack once again. Um, everything is still wet. We didn't use the dry cycle on our first run through of cleaning. You can see there's a lot of grime that's been broken up. You can take a clean microfiber cloth and just kind of wipe all the grime up. This is only in extreme cases. I've got the filter and the screen removed. Um, the cup has been washed through many times. We don't need the glass anymore. I'm going to put the filter up here and the screen up here. And now I'm going to use about a cup of pure baking soda um, or about half of this. And I'm just going to evenly sprinkle this around the dishwasher. Just like that. We've got the filter out and the screen out. We're going to run our hot water again before we start this. The dirtier the dishwasher is, the heavier cycle you're gonna to wanna to run. I'm just gonna do normal and heat dry, high temp. Should take about two to three hours start. The second cycle with the baking soda is completed. Gonna reinstall the screen and filter. There's the finished result with the initial scrubbing with white vinegar and the two cycles, one with the one cup of white vinegar and the other with a cup of baking soda. Thanks for watching, hope this helped. See you on the next one.